Obviously, some frustration in the locker room. You just heard your teammate talk about it. Walk us through what went wrong on Thursday. Well, you know, um, when you look at it, I guess the breakdown from offense, defense, and special teams, we were just not all on the same page. We wasn't. And the thing is, we had chances in the game, you know, to take back um, – the lead and stuff like that, and, and we just let, you know, Dallas, you know, dictate the game. And when you look at that and we go back and watch film, like I said, we had areas in that game and, and the key moments to where we could have had took it over. But, you know, we just didn't. You, you know what? From a head coach's standpoint, when I hear a player talk like mm -hmm. that, that was encouraging to me. I mean, that mm -hmm. tells me, hey, they still believe. I mean, you know, they, they, they believe they can get it squared away, and we're st you're still seriously in the hunt. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, what was said, what was said. And we 6-5. and five. You're still <laughs> We 6-5. Right. and five yeah. top for number one. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of whatever happened, you know, we still – Pump the brakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody pumps the brakes. Because at the end of the day, six and five tied with Dallas for number one in the division. Yeah. Right. Doesn't even matter. We got five games left, and that's what we're going to take. And Absolutely. I like, I like the 